What's the deal with the, the password and such? Order from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Something's not right with this group. If they're a charity, why would they have be so secretive? And also, like Grimes just said, why would someone steal something that's for free? That makes no sense. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Okay. Yeah, something's up with the EOD. I know, I feel like they're not just a charity. That's something else. Excuse me? Okay, that's coming. Is that downstairs or upstairs? Oh, it's definitely downstairs. Get the gun out! Oh shit, there's one there. How'd that miss? Got him. Alright, well, come here. Shut up. Okay, I think. Is that all of them? I can't make any more ammo. Fantastic. What am I looking at? Oh, quid pro quo. Oh, let me check this uh, locker. Shell casings, gunpowder, I can make more ammo. Let me switch to the pistol. Oh, what's this? That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. Okay, so we've taken that. Alright, let me check downstairs now, properly this time. Whoa, what? What? Why would the music do that? Oh, there it is. Why would the... Why would the sound do that? Like something just happened when it didn't. Oh, this seems like some sick torture room. I have questions. Yes. Why would they have this room in a storage place? Like I said, the EOD ain't who they claim to be. They say they're a charity. Giving food to the needy, fixing their homes and stuff like that. Things dead as a doornail, but... I don't see any wounds. No, so how's it dead then? So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. And that's troubling. And that's a cat. That is a mutated cat. Whatever the hell that is. It's like a cockroach wearing a cat suit. So there's something in the fish that killed that thing, which means the EOD's up to something. They've got some torture chamber in their storage place, and the f there's something in the fish, possibly to do with that bottle I found, with, like, chemicals at the bottom, so what? This so-called EOD is handing out poisoned fish? Why would they do that? And then there's all this secrecy shit as well. Something's going on. And who are the higher-ups exactly? Yeah, there's something suspicious about this EOD group. For sure. What the hell's this? Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Well, I mean, it just needs to be painted, right? Everything else is done. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Oh. Well, looks like we got to put together what happened. What's this? Letter from the orphanage. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children in these dark times. Your toys go down like a tall glass of water. We all pray for your good health every day. We also kindly remind you that we still await your visit. 
All our staff, and of course the children, are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate. Come as soon as you are able. With eternal gratitude, administration of Oakmont St. Jerome's Orphanage. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds like he's had plenty of time to come see the orphanage, all the kids and the staff, but kind of like holds off on it because he's an in's mouth. And they probably wouldn't like an in's mouth person. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's probably just the thing downstairs just sticking through the ceiling. Alright, let's uh, check this out. Piece together what happened. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Professor Westerbrook? Just a little bit more. So this guy came in and poisoned the fish? Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. Interesting. Oh, and there is one upstairs. Darn pests! Mayor, take them. Okay, let's see what we have here. Right. I'm guessing. So he, this guy's come in. He's poisoning the fish. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about then this. Then he comes over here to poison these fish. Just a little bit more. Oh, no. Yeah, and then that box tips over. And then Grimes upstairs hears that. And then grabs the harpoon. Darn pests. May take them. And then he gets to the stairs, sees that guy, and then throws the harpoon. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. A man broke into the fish storage, poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, then made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. Okay. Key evidence collected. What's the law? Caseberg. Right, have I not used the key? What do I need to use the key for? So large quantities of possibly poisoned fish have already been distributed to the city to the city's poorest citizens. Interesting. Uh, the man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. I need to visit the university. Interesting. Okay. So I need to go to the university, but what's the key for? An old slimy key from the EOD fish storage. Right, well I haven't found everything here. What have I missed? There's something I'm missing. Right, let me start from the like bottom and then go to the top. I've obviously missed something. There's like a clue somewhere I've missed. I need to make sure I check everywhere. What have I missed? Okay, is there anything in this room? What have I missed? It must be just like one thing I've missed. What have I missed? Right, I don't think there's anything down here. The hall's fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. Okay, so that was it, just that. All evidence collected. Great. Okay, get rid of that. So now I need to go to the university. The city hall. Does it... Again, old slimy key from the EOD fish storage. But there was nothing to use a key on though, was there? Okay. 
need to... Where is the university? That's City Hall. That's the university library. Uh, is it there? I don't know. Is this university? Well, it says University Street, so maybe this is the university? Well, it's not saying on the thing anyway. And again, what do I even use the key for? There was nothing to use the key on anyway. But it's still got the icon thing on it to say to use it. But there's nowhere in storage to use the key. I don't get that. Because that's why the icon's still on there, because apparently there's something to use with the key, but there isn't. Not from what I've seen, there's nothing to use the key on. Like, it was just for to like, get in, wasn't you it? pick up anything interesting. I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay, this is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Quartered? Anna will quarter you. <laughs> You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's unexpected. Huh. Um. Well, I mean, I don't see how it's his fault. So I won't tell her. Don't worry. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh, I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. All right, you, uh, you go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer, except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Give me your map. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, truck. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. And if it doesn't, then I'm reporting you. See ya. May the sea protect you. Alright, so now I know where the university is. That's the thing, if he's lying about that um, torture dungeon, then I'll just report him to Anna. If he's if she's that ruthless as he says she is, anyway. Yeah. Told me that Anna is ruthless in her judgement of guilty EOD members. He was clearly afraid of her. See, that just makes me even more suspicious of the EOD. Okay. So I need to go back to the fish market. I mean, that's the thing. If he's not, I don't think he's lying, but maybe he is. Like, like uh, Reed said, I'm a detective. I'll find out, you know, sooner or later. You know, even if I believe your lie, I'll still find out anyway. Okay, let's go to the fish market. Tell Anna what I found.
Rashi should No, I need to... Well, he said to go to her first before I go to the university. So I guess I'll do that. Where is the university? So I was right. It is over here. Yeah, Oakmont University. Okay. Let's see if she's here. Yep, she's still there. Handing out. For everyone. You want a fishy? Nope, definitely not. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Like I've got a sample of what I think is the poison, though I can't identify it yet. See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know, but I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. What should I do with the poison? What, prisoner? What? Prisoner? What prisoner? What should I do with the... Wait, poisoner? Why did I think that said prisoner? Poisoner? Poisoner? Who says that? What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome, if you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. What does that One mean? One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? He fought like a lion or he missed the intrusion? He fought like a lion. Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me, he deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. Remind me where the university is. And also, what does she mean by that when she said, I'll make sure the reward is more than worth it, if you know what I mean? And it's like, well, I mean, if it's just going to be bullets, then yeah, but why do you have to make it sound like it's something else? Like, why do you need to be like, if you know what I mean? It's like... What do you mean? I've found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me? You found what? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds awful. She's fucking lying. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. I don't believe her. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. Yeah, she, she's full of shit. I don't believe her. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. You were a student there, I take it. Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. See you later. Glad to see you again. Jesus, why are you so loud? Yeah, I don't believe her. I feel like she was lying then. She knows about that fucking dungeon basement shit. And sure, I could have been like, Daryl, you fucked up. You know, I have to, you know, tell on you. You know, because you were doing toys and shit for the orphanage. But I feel like he was doing something good. Even though he's already doing something good. But I feel like, you know, you can't really punish him for that. You know, he's like making toys for orphan kids. Sure, he was meant to be doing his current job you know guard in the warehouse but i mean it's not that big of a deal sure the guy poisoned the fish but there's a dungeon in the basement right. 
Anyway, I'm not gonna stitch him up. You know, he seems like he's decent, so I won't do that. Could have done though. <clears throat> Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um, no. You must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I I'd reward you, of course. Why is not now the first one? Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted then. Samuel Hopes, honorary member of Altera Pa's book club. Don't oh, care. Private eye. Good, good. Listen, we're <sighs> missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Windle to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Why is he so wide-eyed? Why are they so valuable? They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay, I'm on it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Some books can be really mind-blowing, don't you think? I guess. What a great looking university this place is. You've got a cultist here. Unless he's studying on like cult stuff. So now we got another side case. Okay, so I'm guessing I've got to talk to someone about that university. Okay. Samuel Hopes is a member of the Oakmont Book Club, Altera Pars. He asked me to find three terms that haven't been returned. When I've found all three books, I need to return to the Oakmont University Square. Samuel will be waiting for me near the fountain. Okay. Angels of the Mind, the book was loaned for personal reading. Address lost. Benjamin Miller, clerk in the Bank of Oakmont, lives somewhere in Advent. So I've got to look in the archives for that one. Mastery of words. Well, let me look at the well. The book was given to the restorer address, the single detached man on Baker Street between Hurricane Road and Ambrose Street in Reed Heights South. So Reed Heights. Southern Reed Heights. Detached man on Baker Street. Where's Baker Street? Okay, there's Baker Street. Between Hurricane Road. And Ambrose Street. Uh, where's Ambrose Street? Oh, there's Ambrose Street. So you got Baker... No. So was it Baker Street? Between Hurricane Road and Ambrose Street? So is it like somewhere here? Because you've got Hurricane Road there and Ambrose Street here. So I'm guessing like somewhere there. And then that one, the second eyelid. The book was taken by students for personal reading. Address in a Shine Street between Windsweep Road and Justice Street in Western Shells. Western Shells, huh? In a Shine Street. Where's that? In a shine street between Wind Sweep Road and Justice Street. There's Justice Street. But it could be like all along here though. No. So it's on Inner Shine Street. Yeah, so it has to be here then. Wind Sweep Road and Justice Street, so somewhere here. And then this one, I need to go to the archives, but which one? I guess the library? Because it's talking about a book. Yeah, guessing the library.
But let's uh, focus on the university right now. Because I think there's someone here I need to talk to. Closed? Closed for maintenance? Since when does the university get closed for maintenance? Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. How can I help you? You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It, 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 sorry. We have hundreds of bottles like this in the university. Fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, you need an, an analysis. <coughs> I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. Hmm. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You, you, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. Specimen? Does that have something to do with the dungeon in the storage place? The basement thing? You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. Department of Medicine. Something I can help you with, sir? What? Now he's talking normally? Something I can help you with, sir? And he's not stuttering either. Like before, he was like stuttering and like all that shit. Now he's like talking completely normal and he's like talking differently as well. Something I can help you with, sir? What are you smoking? A blunt? Something I can help you with, sir? He's talking completely different now and he sounds completely normal. Before, he's like stuttering like a crackhead. So now what? I need to go over here now. Like, why was he stuttering and all like that? Sounding like nervous and stuff. And then it's like, after I finish talking with him, I go to like interact with him again. And he's like, talking to me completely normal. And he's not stuttering at all. So wait, which way do I... Oh, do I go around the side? I think so. Has to be. Because if this flask is poisonous, well, we can't take the risk, can we? Have to find out. Oh, is that him? No. Mm. Let's talk to the Department of Medicine. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Uh, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day I could get right to it, but we're uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. So, does that mean Anne wasn't lying? Is it the university that's renting out that warehouse to the EOD, or to Anne? And that dungeon thing is to do with that uh, doctor guy who's getting specimens from there, and now it's caused this. Is that the case? I think. There's no other way. No, I can solve that. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free. Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Fucking piece of shit still wanted me to pay him, even though I'm doing him a favor clearing out the basement. EOD is banned. Why would the EOD be banned if they're a charity? See, something's up with the EOD. EOD is banned to all staff and students of the University of Oakmont. Henceforth, any mention of the Everyone's Obvious Duty organization, also known as EOD, is symbolics current and social past members as well as espousing 
their beliefs is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and such or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguised as so-called charity work. Throughout our university and all over Oakmont, this dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Administration of the Board of Trustees. So the EOD is not a charity? Interesting. New Mind Palace clue. See, I knew, I knew there was something off about them anyway, but that's just... Well, further proof that something's off with them. Maybe Anne wasn't, or was lying. I felt like she was lying when I mentioned it. Like, the way she was talking to me, it sounded like she was full of shit. Maybe she's in on whatever was going on in that dungeon. Alright, let me check my mind palace. Okay, none of them connect. The door won't budge. Alright, well, looks like I can only go downstairs. Let's fuck them. Is that alive? I shot him. Alright, let's get in there. There you go, lab's cleared. Look at that thing. I thought that was alive. There we go. I cleared the monsters from the Department of Medicine lab. Well, I'm not going to head up just yet. I want to check this place out first. Now, why the fuck does he have this down here? <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Experiment log part two, March 10th. With those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen re remained alive, even with half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th. I developed a way, I developed a way to reanimate their tissue, even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications. Does this hint at something hidden? Some trait present inside other creatures? And perhaps even ourselves? I will need to find volunteers. Interesting. Is there another diary in here somewhere? What's this? Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Well, I'd be surprised if it's funded by Frog Morton, or maybe somebody else. Like one of the other grand families. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I, or shouldn't I? I feel like if we do, because it's like connected to these cables on the floor, we're going to press it and it's going to make this thing come to fucking life. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Experiment log part one. March 2nd. I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's the only smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd. Was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I began a series of experiments on the creature. So far has proven exponentially resistant to all the poisonous substances at my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. It's shrieking, though it's bound to haunt me. March 5th. Last night I had a vision. Thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket. Wait, wrapped around me as a blanket and I heard the name inside my head. Stygian Harvester. What? What's in this? Just the belt supplies. I need that. Alright, can I press the button? So very tempting. Oh, I pressed it. 
Oh shit, he is alive. Oh shit, I fucking knew it. Fuck! Jesus Christ. Got him. Fucking hell. Did not realize I could actually press the button, but when I noticed Reed saying different stuff when I pressed the button, then I was like, no way, can he actually press the button? And he actually did, and then, of course, I was right, it brought it back to life. It woke it up. That was good though, good riddance. Alright, there's nothing else I'm missing, is there? Alright, let me head back upstairs. Because maybe I'll get all evidence when I talk to that guy. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... Uh... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed, will benefit all humankind. Some secrets should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. And that's that. Can you fill me in on Ryson again? Of course. What do you need to know? 
How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. I'll see you later. Interesting, but there's still more uh, stuff to find. Because there was something, there was something else to ask him, and I wanted to ask him about it, like about the monsters in the, well, in the uh, lab. But I didn't get to ask that question. I don't like it because there it has happened a few times, but some of the questions were like questions that I didn't really care to ask or didn't want to ask. But that, I wanted to ask that question about the monsters in the uh, lab. But I don't know when. When I ask a certain question, it's going to move on from like any other questions I could have asked. So it's like, rather than, you know, kind of highlighting a certain question that if you ask it, you won't be able to ask the other questions. You know, it'd be good if they did something like that but of course that's not going to happen it'd just be useful if you can know what certain questions will move on to more questions and not allow you to go back and answer possible previous questions you could have asked so hopefully this load is before I started talking to that guy and it's after I cleared out the uh, basement or the lab I cleared the lab. Excellent. So the professor's experiments. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures, what's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Maybe not, but so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Sure is. Okay. Uh, All right. We finished that enough. Rice. A high. So. Uh, I'm a. Huh. This is. Who on? I'm. I'm. Uh, I'd like. Oh, I need to ask all these questions again. Uh, yeah. Uh, because, of course, You're this is a previous save. He's I'm don't not going to bother listening. Well, yeah, I'm not going to bother uh, listening. What, oh, I didn't mean to the, do that shit again. Uh, well, I'd like to no, know No, for fuck's sake. He's... Uh, I'll see you. All right. Remind me about the ride, sir. You feel me? Of course. Uh, the set bit over. Oh, antidote. There. Um, I'll see you. All right, there we go. Now, let's head upstairs. Because there's still more evidence to collect in this place too. There's a lot of EOD as banned signs. Now you think, if they were just a charity, why would they be banned from the university in all forms? You think they're supposed to be a charity? Why would a charity in any form be banned from a university? Unless there's something about them that is suspicious or dodgy. Professor Edwin Westerbrook, you know, dodgy like as in they're not like a charity. Authorized personnel only. Note from Professor Westerbrook, this is absurd. I've been five months and they still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting on the corridor like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished or you give me Cavendish, wait, Cavendish's office? You tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce, Westerbrook. <laughs> Okay, more evidence. Any more evidence? I can go in here, can I? Oh, there's something in here. Professor George Cavendish. Draft of an article. Brothers and sisters crossed out. Too familiar. My fellow Americans crossed out. They are Americans too. Citizens of Oakmont. How much longer will we put up with those fish-faced bast crossed out. 
those sea freaks crossed out. How much longer will we put up with this? Those K forsaken degenerates who call themselves the EOD crossed out. Interesting. And what is this? What? This should be good enough to make a decent copy. Interesting. Key evidence collected. So he got a, stole a key and imprinted it on a bar of soap. So then he can unlock the office, I'm guessing. The door won't budge. Oh, it will now. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. And they've got ricin written all over it. And this is Westerbrook's. And these bottles look exactly yeah, the all, same as the one with the poison. They've all got ricin all over it. You got law. Okay, none of those. The poison thief. George Cavendish, a professor at Oakmont University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to poison locker. To the poison locker. According to a student, he lives somewhere in Advent. None of those, huh? So I need to go to the archives. Uh, professor. He made himself copy the key to the poison locker. He lives somewhere in Advent. So I'm guessing i got to check out the... Uh, Oakmont University Library, then. Seems like that's the case, and that's all the evidence collected as well. Can I talk to that guy again? Nope. I'll see you later. <coughs> that's everything. Okay. Um, let me do this side case real quick so I can head down the street here and do that and do that. Try and get these side cases out of the way. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? Nope, not interested. What's there to read that I don't already know? It's my job to know things. Okay, so what was this case again? Oh, I gotta find books. Like a fucking... Uh, one of those library book returners or whatever the fuck they're called. But hopefully I get well rewarded for my efforts. Is it this place? I don't know. Well, it's definitely in a building. I'm not sure if it's this one. The door won't budge. Because that is single detached manor. That's this place. That is this place. There has to be another way in then. This is a this is a single detached manor. This has to be the place. Oh, well the back door's boarded up. Oh. Never mind. Book Restorer's Manor. 
Uh, is anyone here? <coughs> Almost there's something's happened in here. Unsent letter. Dear Mr. Samuel Hopes, I am pleased to report that I have successfully restored the tome you sent me. You sent me. But before we conclude our business together, I wonder if perhaps you might appreciate having some copies of the book. I would be honoured to duplicate the work, and would do so without charge. I am confident you will accept my proposal, and have in fact already finished copying the first chapter. A tome of such power deserves to be read by many, should it not? Firstly, how are you going to ask permission to do something when you're already doing it? What's the point of asking permission then? If you're already going to do it, you already were doing it. Oh, so that's why it's locked. Now it's unlocked. <coughs> okay. Let's check downstairs. Alright, is there anything downstairs? Turn my torch on. Don't really use that very often. Oh, there is another downstairs. Everyone's always got... Well, not everyone, but it seems like some houses like this have always got a snooker table. Is there anything interesting down here? What's all this machinery for? Is that like the plumbing? Is that like a boiler or some shit? What is that? Is there anything down here? What is this room for? I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything down here, so check upstairs. or something. Another letter. A scrap of paper. Someone please help me. I don't want to write anymore. Written words can change the world. I want to sleep. I'm hungry. I can't feel my fingers. Make the book stop, please. Written words can change the world. Written words can change the world. Written words can change the world. What? Can I go in this room? Door won't budge. Oh, well, now. Right. Is there anything in this room? Oh, something's in this room. A secret wall. Who the fuck is this guy? Go away. <coughs> I mustn't stop writing. So many words. Go away. I mustn't stop writing. So many words. So he's barricaded that doorway. What's this say? Is this the book? Mastery of words by your humble servant. The sounds born on our tongues can be more powerful than you can imagine by a faithful reader. And the written words can change the world. I shall teach you how to use these words to control weak minds should you kneel before this term and absorb its teachings. So too shall others kneel before you, but such power is only for the worthy and will destroy those unfit to wield it. Blessed reader, you must transcribe these words in your own hand. Only deserving minds will be able to seize Will you take the risk. What? what? Oh, what? he's trying to fuck. What? The fuck he just tried to attack me And my sanity's fine too. Why did he attack me? He was fine before, like talking manic shit, then I pick up the book and then he goes to fucking punch me. I had to kill him. He was trying to... Well, he attacked me, so I had to kill him. That's all the evidence, too. Alright. 
so I need to go all the way down to this street. It's a infested area. Just run. Just run. Yep. Oh. Just run. Fuck. Well, how am I supposed to get across? There's no boat. I'm not swimming. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I'm probably going to have to go across all the way this way now. Shit. Fucking run. Is it? No. In a shine street, no, it has to be there. <sighs> has to be this building. Yep, there we go, it's this building. Wait, isn't that the guy who we met at the university? Or is it just some other guy who looks the same as that guy? What are you staring at? Get lost! What? What are you staring at? Get lost! Alright. Oh. Look at them all. We're just students. What do you want from us? How much do you think I want anything? Hi there. Well, at least she's friendly. Unsent message. I was told to contact you when I cross the boundary we made it there's three of us tell me is it really safer here than in our world i do not like the smell of this air it reeks of madness we have acquired one of their books despite my apprehensions we will open more pathways here our people deserve life more than they do we know horrors without words we know eternity we know agony these people know only indulgence and ego we will become them and they will become nothing Okay, and they just all stood around reading books rather than sitting down or something. Of course, it won't open. Let's check upstairs. I swear, if those if those students who are just calm, well, I guess they're chill. They just stood there reading the books. <laughs> the door. Will I swear, if, if I find this term and they all of a sudden all come to attack me, I will kill them all. That's what happened at the last place. Guy was crackhead, picked up the term and he attacked me. Oh, and there's, is that blood? No, that's like wine or something. Or maybe it is blood. 